congrats also to uh Todd and Candy. You know, Todd and Candy, Candy put on Paper Magazine and their AQ4 in New York City. Theater is everywhere. Article meaning, you know, look, black people in Broadway, theater, shows, and all of that. You you really sometimes you do not see black people one being in charge, EP, um, and all that stuff. So Candy and Ty, who is on this producing spree, having you know many plays on Broadway, I believe because she she can be in an interview with somebody. Maybe maybe she's gonna walk on up and live. They talking to Andy, and she had mentioned how there's a, they're working on a new play that she could not say what was she said, but it's something big. I'm like, what is it? Because you know, when you see people who look like you who, who could have came from where you came from, and they are doing it on Broadway. And they're also giving chances to other black talent. That is something to be commended. So kudos and congrats and all the good things to Todd and Candy. They both look great here. I love the dress on Candy. I love her facial features on Candy. I'm saying Todd, look, Todd, look, y'all look. Todd may not be tall, but Todd is a handsome man. You hear me? Todd can get it. Okay, well, not that's a that's a their husband. I'm just saying congrats to them for being in the issue. Um, where again, paper magazine this is recognizing people in theater. Okay, um, it's great. Just regal. Okay, child, not not all the time schemes worked out. <laughs> you know what I feel like. Um, I do feel like some people probably thought Ty and Candy would not last because of how much my majority. Was round there fucking up things or whatever. Um, I like the fact that Ty kind of ignored Mama Joyce and and like you to me, Mama Joyce is just like Mama D. Okay, Mama Joyce is just like Wanda from Love and Mary, Love and Mary Huntsville. Meaning, most of the time, your spouse just has to ignore your mama. Okay, focus on your marriage and y'all's life together because the mama gonna eventually. Get the fuck on, okay? And I like the fact that Candy also did not allow her mom to make her treat Todd some kind of way. So them being together all these years later, and they're out here doing it together as a couple, like child doing Broadway, got them them restaurants, okay. And even though Candy is no longer on Housewives, she's still making money. Candy to me used that show to create businesses, to create connections. So that way, if she was not on the show anymore, it wouldn't stop her bad. And a lot of people, to me, were so focused on Mama Joyce being this mean, rude mama. They were focused on, oh, Ty won't candy money. And I'm like, Ty was around there working, you know, because Ty was already an EP on, on you know, on Housewives. Before you met Candy, so I'm like, Ty, you know, Ty was also working with Carlos King on the, was it R and B D was either R and B D was or 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 Hollywood he was one of them deep shows. So I'm like, Ty has also been building his own namesake, his own career, and I think because he's more of a behind the scenes person, people felt like, oh, Ty around there getting Candy, and like, no, he was smart too. You know what I'm saying? So even if they were to divorce. Or whatever, and I hope they don't. No one can make it seem like Ty got with Candy for the money, and then you know, you know what I'm saying like he they, they have worked together as a couple, and I love the fact that they seemingly never lost sight of their marriage. And I and I know it ain't perfect or whatever. However, you know what I'm saying it was what it was. Okay, so because the child they still married. And is <laughs> and is they stay still married. And again, you have to use your you you should always use your connections when you are on a network show for Kenny was on network for 14 years. Child, when you are on a show or network for that long and you have no connections, no other you're at the wheel of other people. That show you did not do things right because to me it seemed like Candy 
is not at the mercy of Bravo or of any other network. And she's hoping they'll call her to book her for a show like other people. Okay, speaking of, child, a duo. A duo. A duo who was on Bravo Housewives of Atlanta for season one. And now in 2024, seemingly both of them are at the wheels of other producers, of other networks, hoping someone will call them to work. It seems like, okay, Miss Nene Leakes and Sheree Whitfield did not play their cards right. Now, they're not on no list of people, you know, and, and, and the reason I'm saying it is because they were both on that show before Candy, and they are two, you know, popular housewives, okay? However, it just did not pan out for them, Okay. Now, you know, Nene is in this full, full, full Balenciaga print outfit. It's a real, I don't know, I don't buy Balenciaga, okay? But it looks cute. Uh, Sheree is not in She by Sheree. Is she ever? Um, no, okay? And child ch joggers. <laughs> joggers. It's like, I really wish that, this, and this is not me hating on Nene or on Sheree. This to me is pointing out you can be the most talented, seen person around there. And when you burn a bridge or when you just don't do things the right way, sometimes folk won't fuck with you. And not only will they not fuck with you, you also don't have the, the grit in you to get it out the mud. Because I'm like, to, to, to me, both Nene and Sheree should have fully had something by now. Okay, truth be told, the fact that they were not smart enough, forget a damn uh, uh, show with, with Kim and, and Nene. Why not get one with Kim, girl, not with Kim, do one with Sheree and Nene? Why not? Because they don't have it, okay? To me, Nene and Sheree are boring on their own. Because Nene needs somebody to, to, to talk to. Does she have friends? Do we know her friends? Do we know her friends? I don't know. Um, but I just feel like they just did not do their self any they did not do their own due diligence. I always say, you know, even like even for the, the people on um Summer's House Martha's Vineyard, I'm like, y'all better make sure to parlay that two season run on that show and get booked on a go on Survivor. Okay, go on the challenge, go somewhere else to keep your name in the YouTube streets, okay? Do the fact... Now, I know Sheree was on the season of Traders. I didn't watch Traders, okay? But again, that's her being at the wheel and at the mercy of producers of other shows, hoping someone calls her. You know what I'm saying? Y'all should be the ones calling people because y'all have those connections, okay? So again, unlike, unlike Candy and Todd, Unlike Candy and Todd, I mean, they just ride here together and in and, and busy outfits, you know, having um some uh, mimosas and joggers. And I'm like, and not only that, Shrey has a whole after-leisure line that we never see her in. Never. And when you think about it, when you think about the fact that Nene was around here on this show the longest, but she don't have it. You know, she don't have it. And that's just, you know, that's on her. I feel like we can love Mimi forever. We forever. Forever, ever. But if she don't realize, hey, maybe I should have not went down a road and I had no boat, and I'm lost in the wilderness or whatever, and she said, I'm going to just say fuck the thing. And I said, ma'am, that was stupid. Shut up. That is so stupid. But it's fine. Okay, anyway, I, 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 I be missing Nene. I do. I do. You know? 
because she don't be on her YouTube channel. You know, she be on, you know, she do be on social media, you know, she's, you know, she's the AI. Y'all know Nini is the AI Facetune employee. You know, she tests all the, the new faces or whatever. You know, she might have closed. And that's great for her. Um, but I'm like, sometimes, ma'am, ma'am, ma'am. Anyway, what I want to go to next. Um, let's get to some foolish shit. <laughs> Thank you. 